All right, some breaking news five hours ago, Auth0, a very, very popular authorization and authentication, um, I guess, uh, uh, service that is a cloud service that you can use, uh, it went down five hours ago. They're still investigating. So far as of now, it seems like things are going back to normal. This is a preliminary report. Uh, we know very little i did some investigations that i can put two and two together I'll, I'll share my opinion in a minute but we'll have to wait for the uh, actual root cause analysis to see what went on again kudos to all the auth zero engineers that are working really hard to get this service back up and running we know this is a very very difficult time so kudos and uh, let's just jump into the video going into the status.auth0.com starting with the investigating five hours ago we're currently experiencing an increased error rate in auth0 services our engineering team is investigating and we will provide you with further updates as we have them for a while i believe this page went down as we always see when it, when when things go bad the method to update the customers actually go down as well which, which is kind of unfortunate but obviously um auth zero team uses twitter to update the uh, the customers which is not bad but all right uh, our engineers our on call teams continue to investigate this issue five years ago we have received some reports of status.auth0.com being inaccessible by a small subset of customers as a reminder you can follow us on twitter okay so this is this is very very common that we saw with amazon that we saw with google the me medium to update by which the actual service or the cloud service to update their customers goes down with their system because everything is almost like a central point of failure all right a set of customer base has reported being unable to access our support center as a result of this issue very bad thing very similar thing we always see this uh, we have amazon i think they fixed that with their latest outage a few months ago they said they just detached the support the dashboard from the actual production if you need to file a ticket we have enabled a temporary support route which you can uh, they give an email right here Four hours ago, our engineers have identified some patterns in our databases that we believe could be related to this issue. We are attempting to leverage them to identify the issue. The first question will I ask, what is the database? And I'm going to give you some answers. Uh, hopefully, it might be wrong, but this is just all speculation. We find a blog, I found a blog that detailed and also your detailed all their databases use we're continuing to work on this incident and we are also looking into ways to reduce this impact this is generating at this time we are still unclear as the root cause of this issue we have identified that this issue is coming from our database okay so they know now i guess that this is a database issue however we're still tracking the root cause of this issue right so maybe the database issue is kind of a side effect what is the root issue we don't know yet we understand that this is an issue impacting the entirety of the environment and full auth team engaged and resolve this two hours ago we are continuing to work on restoring services as quickly as possible we understand that this is a significant impact on your business yeah authentication and authorization is the most important piece if you can't authenticate bad stuff happen that's what happened to microsoft a few weeks back right the, the authentication that's what happened to google if you can't authenticate yours even if your backend is up and running your actual service is up and running it's useless i can't get in we're continuing to work on the restoring the services for the outage we can communicate that users who are logged in are not impacted by this isn't okay so now once you're logged in you should be okay you can use other services it's the mechanism to authenticate or to get some metadata is that it's broken i guess we're executing all remediation steps for our incident protocol our technical teams are engaged in this all right again kudos for all the engineering team that is working on this again i i i've been there one once upon a time so this is not fun we are seeing customers in us1 production moving to degraded performance okay so this is kind of a good thing degraded performance is better than nothing right 
So US production is up and running, Alexa, I guess, say degraded performance. We continue to see that uh, that have moved, we, we continue to see customers that have moved to degraded performance, all right, so they're moving to degraded performance, systems are re recovering and access to Auth0 dashboard has been restored, okay, so now we can access the dashboard, 49 minutes ago, we're continuing to dedicate our full team's effort on restoring services for all customers impacted by this incident. We continue to see additional customers that have moved to degraded performance. Our user search v3 service is currently disabled. Hmm. v3 service. v3 service is currently disabled. So there is a, an API version 3 that search for the user and they disabled that. There must be a reason why that got disabled. So that database that supporting that is is choking for some reason. We'll, we'll find out what database is that. We're going to go into that in a minute. I actually found out actually what is the, the exact database. Once the service is enabled again, all data will be brought up again. So the, the V3 is now pointing to V2, which sta saves st uh, uh, serves stale data. We continue to see performance improvement. We are working to fully restore services. All right. So it looks like it's a database issue. Let's refresh if see, to see if there's an update. No, 17 minutes ago, no update. Let's go back. <laughs> I found a blog here, uh, written 2018. So this might be a little bit uh, uh, dated, but I think it might still give us some hints as what is going on until the uh, Auth0 team sh shows us the root cause analysis. So they have one, two, three, four, five databases. MongoDB is their main database. They call it MongoDB is our central central data store. It's our source of truth for most of the data that matter of our customers. We store settings, connections, rules, users, and much more. Interesting. Okay, so the users are in MongoDB. The rules are in MongoDB. Our Mongo cluster serves many thousands of requests per second, but we don't store okay uh, that much data. Okay, they don't store much data. Interesting. So maybe just metadata. All right, Elasticsearch. Elastic. What, what are they using Elasticsearch for? We have a little, very long uh, story with Elasticsearch, and not always a happy one. We use Elasticsearch to store three types of data: user user metadata, audits logs, and application logs. Logs from our microservices off the shelf solutions like uh, MongoDB and Nginx. So MongoDB logs goes into Elastic. So this is like the large content goes into Elastic. Third, Postgres. Guys, look at this. We have three main databases stored in Postgres running on AWS RDS. What is RDS again? Again, it's a search. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, let's keep this short. Breached passwords, user metadata, search v3, search v3. It's currently available. So back in 2018, that was like what three years ago. Postgres was uh, was the database to search uh, to to provide the search version three, right? So let's read through a little bit. Given the scalability issues we faced with Elasticsearch, we completely rewritten the user metadata search function search feature into what we call user search v3 which is currently disabled and we're gradually migrating tenants to that new solution it uses postgres instead of elastic search for storage so i really hope it's not postgres because i really love postgres you know guys so we don't know what's going on again everything here i'm saying is Pure speculation could be MongoDB, could be Elasticsearch. I doubt it's actually they don't rely on Elastic much, but it could be MongoDB, uh, which is their main source of truth, as they say. Postgres or Elastic. What is Redis? What do they re use Redis for? I doubt it's Redis. Redis is just caching. They use Redis for caching, right? So I doubt it's Redis. All right. So four databases. Any one of those could cause the issue. Guys, are you affected by this issue? Are you, do you use Auth0? What is, what are, what do you use it for? Because I don't use Auth0. I, I'm just interested in what kind of use cases you use this for uh, instead of relying on your own authentication system. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Uh, again, kudos for the old engineer on Auth0 team working very hard to get this up and running. 
and uh, guys uh, let me know if you're affected by this and uh, and uh, hopefully this is go back and normal it looks like it, it's it's starting to get um, everything is going back to normal but uh, I'm gonna make another video once we have the full details stay awesome goodbye